Welcome to our session for joins in SQL. Joins, joins the two tables in a databases. There are two types of joins we could say in the explicit type that is a simple join and the outer join. Let's see for the simple join. A simple join is a select statement that returns rows from two or more tables. These tables are related or joined by column that they are in common. So the necessary condition for joining the two table is that at least one column should be common in both the tables. This is the syntax for creating a simple join. So the select statement is used, select columns. So whatever the columns that we need to provide, we will be using it in the columns from table 1, table 2. The tables that we need to join, we have to mention here as table, whatever the tables are there, table 1 and table 2, where condition. Now table 1 dot column 1 equals to table 2 dot column 1 is a join condition. Here we can see that column 1 is common in the join condition. Table 1 dot column 1 equals to table 2 dot column 1. We can join the two tables only when at least one column is common in both the tables. So column 1 is common in both the tables and hence it can be joined. So let's see an example for the simple join. So here we have two tables. The first table is the employee table and the second table is the department table. In the employee table, we have the fields LName and department ID. And in the department table, we have the department ID and the DES key. That is the descriptive table. So, DEPT ID is common in both the tables. In the employee table as well as in the department table. So, it is possible to join both the tables with the help of the common field that is the department ID. So, the query for joining the two table is select employee 1 that is the first table employee1.name, employee.dptid and department.dsc. So, employee1 is a table name. Name is a field from the employee table. Lname is a field from the employee table. dptid is a field from the employee table. Whereas, dsc is a field from the department table from employee and department. So, employee and department, both these fields are used where employee.deptid equals to department.deptid. So, this is a join condition and department ID is a field which is common in both the tables. So, this is a condition for a joining two tables in the simple join. So, the output for the table is lname, dptid and desc. Here the table, we can see the output, all the fields have been joined. Simple join is generally used when there are common number of rows in both the tables. Next type of join is the outer join. Now in the simple join, we are talking about if there are the common number of rows in the table, then we can use the simple join. But what about if there are uneven number of rows in a simple join, uh, in, the in the databases? So, at, in this situation, we can use the outer join. So, in outer join, it returns all the rows that the simple join returns as well as those rows from one table that have no direct match with any rows from the other table. So, the syntax here would be select, select columns from table 1, table 2, where table 1 dot column 1 equals to table 2 dot column 1 plus operator. Now, this plus denotes the outer join. We can use the plus sign on in either side of the where condition, but not on the both the sides. That means we can use it in the table 1 dot column 1 plus or table 2 dot column 1 plus, but not on both the sides of the where condition. This is the example of the outer join. Here we can find in the employee table and the department table, we have uneven number of rows. Employee table, we have four number of rows, whereas in the department table, seven rows are used. 
so for there is no direct match for the values just like uh, 9511001209 in such situation we can join the two tables where we have the direct matches and we can also use the values which don't have the direct values so this is the condition we are using so the plus sign is used on either side of the join condition because on left side of the table here in the previous slide we could see here we have four rows and in this department table we have seven rows so for employee table we don't have the direct match in the table so these values are less that's why we use a plus sign on the employee table side on the left hand side so this is the outer join uh, example the output would look like this we have the l name department id and the description we have only the four rows but on the either side department id and the description are having the values that also have been added in this thank you